In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Adobe Bridge to copy your raw files into a folder so that the XMP file, the file that stores the changes that have been made to the raw image, are also copied into the folder that you will be submitting to Google Drive. Once I've saved all of my JPEGs into the assignment folder I'm going to submit to Google Drive, I want to go back into Bridge and make sure I use the star rating filter so that I'm not selecting images I don't want to copy. For the purposes of this demo, all five of the images I want have stars on them, either one or five. But you can see there's also the assignment folder now showing up in the window. I do not want to select that folder, so the easiest way to keep from doing that is to use the star rating to only select the images that I plan to copy into the assignment folder. I'll start by going to the filter menu on the left. I'll select the one star rating and the five star rating, and now I have all five of the images I want to copy. I'll use the keyboard shortcut Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC to select all of the images. And now I'm ready to copy these files into the assignment folder. Unlike most things in Adobe Photoshop, there is no keyboard shortcut for this. You'll have to go up to the menu bar and select File. And you're going to scroll down until you see Copy To. It's almost at the bottom. Navigate down to the bottom where it says Choose Folder. I know that my folder was on my desktop, so I'm going to select desktop. It was the crop tool demo, and there's my assignment folder. I'm going to select that. I've already put my JPEGs in the JPEG folder, so I want to select raw. And I'm going to hit open, and it'll look like nothing's been done. But what that means is that it's actually copied the files already. Last thing I want to do is verify that my raw files actually did copy. So I've already navigated to the assignment folder I created. So I had five raw files that I copied. Now each one of those raw files should also have an XMP file, so I should have a total of 10 files, which I do. Now I can go back to my main folder, in this case McKenna Crop and the date, and I can upload that to my Google Drive into the proper assignment folder. Once I've done that, I'm done with this part of the process. The final step for most of our assignments will be to upload a single image, the one that we marked with five stars, to Canvas. If you've gone into Canvas and added your Google Drive and signed into it, that will make that last step much easier. And that's how we move our raw files, including our XMP files, into our assignment folders so that we can submit our stuff to Google Drive.